United States criminal justice system is operating at a moral deficit, and that deficit is built on the institutional racism that is at its foundation. Let me, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about to weave that into what you showed the viewers earlier um, and show you what I mean. In the entire 50-year history of, of blacks being significantly involved on the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, almost half a century, I can't name a single black officer that has ever shot at an unarmed white person. I can't name a single black officer that has ever shot at a white person, period. Mm -hmm. So restraint is possible, right. even in dangerous situations, even when you face risk that you've been trained in simulated environments to face. Restraint is possible, but it is black lives that are freely discarded in our process, and it is black lives that get triggers pulled on them, whether it's warranted or not, with zero expectation of accountability. And that is what's going to change, I think, in the powerful movement that you've seen young people build out around the nation, a new development that you can anticipate because I've been a part of conversations around it, is that blacks and Hispanics and people from marginalized communities who work in the criminal justice system, including police officers, uh, prosecuting attorneys, defense attorneys, corrections officers, who work in that system will join together to collectively make an effort to remake it, not reform it, because I believe that the system is functioning exactly as it was meant to be.